today I must admit that I am fighting to keep my composure. I have a clip from uh, Glenn Beck's rant and rave about 99ers and I'm going to play it in just a minute. But I feel I need to say a few things. First, most of the Republicans in Congress feel the same way this man does. You know, a lot of them are millionaires and they just can't understand how a person can't have $20 to put gas in their car or pay their rent or pay a light bill. They just don't relate to it. When you have $17 million in your bank account, it's like you walking down the street and being concerned about stepping on an ant and you have a mile to walk. You just can't relate to that. And you have others that are very arrogant and they're basically saying this, if there's a job out there and it could be a doormat and I walk in and I can wipe my feet in your ass, then you take that job. And I have a problem with that. You see, I didn't take America down like the Bernie Madoffs, the Enrons, the Fannie Mae's and all the other white collar uh, crooks that, that almost caused our nation to fall. But yet and still, the banks got bailouts. The mortgage companies got bailouts. The automakers got bailouts. And then you know what happened? The banks stopped loaning money. You bail them out, you save their butts, and then they stopped loaning money. And therefore, business couldn't grow anymore. And I know hindsight is better than foresight, but every one of those banks, Bank of America, as well as Fargo, they all should have failed because there were little guys back there doing the, doing the right thing, and their banks could have taken over these loans and stuff. But you know, I understand, at the time, a lot of stuff was being thrown at us, and the, the, the best move for the country was, was made. At least, that's what you thought. You know, you show me the companies that are based here in America versus those companies that sell all their crap or build all their crap overseas. And I'll tell you, I'll bet you, I'll bet you I know which one's doing well. Not the one who sells their stuff here and builds their stuff here. Why? Because the people aren't doing well. Why? Because we've completely abandoned the whole concept of the free market system. The whole concept of, here's an idea, merit. Merit. You have to do something. Watch, watch this. You have the 99ers. Have you heard of the 99ers? There they are. Oh, Democratic Socialists of America. The 99ers. These people, some of which, I frankly, I, I, I bet you'd be ashamed to call them Americans. They think that 99 weeks on unemployment benefits just aren't enough. Last week, they went down to Wall Street and they protested. 99er Connie Kaplan asked, are you going to tell us, Mr. President and Congress, that our lives are not worth saving? Connie, here's an idea. I'll help save your life. Don't spend your remaining money on travel to get to a protest. Go out and get a job. You may not want the job. Work at McDonald's. Work two jobs. There's been plenty of times in my life where I've done jobs that I hated. But I had no choice. Two years is plenty of time to have lived off your neighbor's wallet. Oh, stop being so mean. These people are just regular people. Are they? Are they really just regular people? She looks normal, doesn't she? Yes, there she is. These aren't regular people. These are workers of the world unite. These are SEIU people. AFL-CIO, the Democratic Socialists of America. That's not regular people. They're socialists and anti-capitalists. Do you remember seeing this photo on the Drudge Report last week? A job is a right. By the way, here's the union label right there. No, a job is not a right. In the former Soviet Union, it was a right. In Venezuela, it's a right, but not here. How many, how many weeks of unemployment are enough? Really? If 99 weeks is not enough, how much is? Is it 100? Is it 200? Is it a lifetime? Ain't no difference.